Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about one of the comics I absolutely hate and I absolutely love, which is the Amazing Spider-Man number 700. This is a CGC 9-8 and this is the last uh, edition of the Amazing Spider-Man series, the first run. And I had to have, to have this book. Uh, it, it is one of the keys. It is the last episode in the series, which started uh, way back when with ASM1. And the reason why I hate this is, I'm going to spoil it for you, Peter Parker dies. And we're going to go over the story. I'm going to show you all the pages. I'm not going to read them all for you because the bummer part about it is the I really just dis dislike the story. This this book marked so much reaction in the community when it came out. And um, we're going to go over it. We're going to go over the, the value of it, how many of them are there. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. So we're going to talk about the storyline, uh, the artists, uh, what the CGC population is, talk a little bit about its investment value in the real world, uh, there is currently no NFT for this, but there are um, digital sales by Marvel. So let's see when we get into the book. So let's take a look at the book, Amazing Spider-Man 700, which came out in January of 2013. The last of the Spider-Man series, which began in 1963, a 50-year run. Love the cover art. Beautiful cover. This book was written by Dan Slott, who actually received death threats over the story. Um, it was penciled by Umberto Ramos, and it was inked by Victor Olazara. The artwork on this book is fantastic. I love it. I love the colors. It is v The book's very beautiful. So here's Peter with Mary Jane, and we're going to spoil the story for you, uh, but we're not going to read the whole story. This is not really Peter. This is really Mary Jane. This is Doc Ock's consciousness in Peter's body. What? This is another one of those mind swap, consciousness swap stories, which I completely hate. So Doc Ock is in Pete's body. And Pete's in Doc Ock's dying body. So one of the things where this uh, story uh, takes a turn is uh, Peter, which you see here, or Spider-Man in Doc Ock's um, body. This is Doc Ock, all withered. And he's trying to find a way to uh, reverse the consciousness swap. As the story goes on, what we see is um, a lot of the characters from, you know, the 50-year series. We'll see Sable, we'll see um, B Uncle Ben, Gwen Stacy. Uh, part of this story is um, actually from six, 699 is when Peter escapes uh, from, from the raft, uh, he actually frees Morbius. So we see Morbius in the story and you can see this is what's left of Doc Ock. A little side story here is uh, J. Jonah Jameson's also in the story. And, you know, he, there's a little uh, backstory about how he reconciles with his father. So as this, um, the book goes on, and this is a very long book. What we see happening is Peter Parker is being outwitted by Doc Ock and that just killed me it, it just totally killed me so as Peter thinks uh, he's going to be successful and the reader would have except the the ending was spoiled uh, a month before the comic was released and what ends up happening is their consciousness start to merge. So uh, Doc Ock in Peter's body starts recalling everything that's happened to uh, Peter from Aunt May 
to Uncle Ben, to all the tragedy. I mean, there's uh, Captain Stacy, Gwen Stacy's dad, and it ends up that this just doesn't work. So you can see here now Doc Ock's faces where uh, what what Peter would be. So they've actually merged consciousness. And Doc Ock as Peter Parker succeeds and Peter Parker dies. The community when this came out was outraged. As I said, um, you know, there were death threats about it. Uh, everybody felt that uh, it was going to be retconned. And what comes out of this story is Doc Ock becomes Superior Spider-Man. And that was the next series. About a year later, um, this this was this was retconned. Um, you know, Peter comes back. But this is the end of the first series. So let's take a look at how it does. It's doing on Gold Collect. So um, the one that I have is a 9.8. There's 1,799 of these. And um, there's uh, 1,018 signature series. So there, there are quite a number of, uh, of this, this book. And so you can see the, the price graph here. Uh, it really hasn't done much. So in, in uh, 2013, you know, it was about $60 and it moved, it moved up. It hit a high of about 245, and right now it's trading uh, about a 180 uh, fair market value. So we all know when this high was, when you know we had the um, stimulus money, bull market, inflated price. Uh, the book is rebounding here. Uh, you know, it hit a low after the drop. Uh, of 104. Uh, if you can pick it up, probably, you know, in the 130 to uh, 140 range, uh, I think it's a good buy. I I wouldn't expect it, as with most moderns, for you to see astronomic prices. But if you're looking for key issues uh, for, and, and you're a Spider-Man fan, this is a must. Again, this is, uh, this is the last um, issue. Uh, the fair market value uh, normally, I I go half to get a uh, uh, fair market high, uh, but it's actually probably lower than that. In this case, you may go down to um, about about a third. Uh, this book is still being sold on Amazon for a little over fifty dollars, so you can still pick up raw copies, uh, and you'll be able to find nine eights on e eBay without without any problem. It's just what price you're going to get it at. Uh, right now. There are no uh, NFTs of this comic. <laughs> uh, you can still um, buy it on marvel.com for get the digital issue for $3.99. I have Marvel Unlimited. Uh, I, I really love that. That's a great way to, to read all the comics. So what is the potential for this? Should this drop as an NFT? It should see um, some pretty uh, decent uh, interest because, it, again, it is a key issue. It is the last issue. But where I anticipate it uh, creating uh, moves in the market is the story will be introduced to the NFT community, the VV community, you know, which probably doesn't know about this story unless you are one of those that watch my video. And... As Doc Ock gets established as uh, the major villain and, of course, superior Spider-Man, I would anticipate um, people taking another look at Amazing Spider-Man 3, which is the first appearance of Doc Ock, which is on the VV app. So that's a history of one of my uh, favorite, most hated comics, Amazing Spider-Man 700, Dying Wish. I have a 9.8 version in real life. Thanks for watching and aloha.